Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several history books. Now I'm going to take you back to the reign of Queen Mary I today. On this day in Tudor history, the 23rd of December, 1556, Nicholas Udall, or Nicholas Everdale, or Uverdale as it's sometimes spelt, schoolmaster, cleric, humanist and playwright, was buried at St Margaret's Church in Westminster. Udall's play, Ralph Royster Doister, I do love that title, uh, which combined Latin comedy and English tradition, is regarded as the first English language comedy. And Udall played a part in Queen Anne Boleyn's coronation in 1533, composing verses for the pageant. And in 1534, he published his Latin textbook, Flowers for Latin Speaking. In 1541, Udall was imprisoned for a few months at Marshalsea after being accused of committing what was termed as buggery with his pupil Thomas Cheney. But he was back in favour enough the next year to be leading a group of scholars in translating the paraphrase of Erasmus upon the New Testament for Queen Catherine Parr. Udall's other works included translations of Erasmus's Apophlegms, Peter Martyr's Discourse on the Eucharist, and Thomas Gemini's Anatomia, and the play Republica. One of the works he wrote for Queen Anne Boleyn's coronation um, in 1533 was a ballad about Queen Anne's falcon badge, her famous white falcon badge. And I'm going to share it with you now in sort of a tribute in memory of Nicholas Udall. Now, I do apologise, I'm not that good at reading poetry, but I'm sure you'll bear with me. This white falcon, rare and geeson, this bird shineth so bright, of all that are, no bird compare, may with this falcon white. The virtues all, no man mortal, of this bird can write, no man earthly, enough truly, can praise this falcon white. Who will express great gentleness to be in any white? He will not miss, but call him this, the gentle falcon white. This gentle bird, as white as curd, shineth both day and night, nor far nay near is any peer unto this falcon white. Of body small, of power regal, she is and sharp of sight, of courage halt, no manner fault is in this falcon white. In chastity excelleth she, most like a virgin bright, and worthy is to live in bliss, always this falcon white. But now to take and use her make is time as troth is plight, that she may bring fruit according for such a falcon white. And whereby wrong she hath fleen long, uncertain where to light, herself repose upon the rose, now may this falcon white. Whereon to rest and build her nest, God grant her most of might, that England may rejoice alway in this same falcon white. I think that's a lovely verse to make for Queen Anne Boleyn's coronation. So that is Nicholas Udall, who we are paying tribute to uh, on this day in history uh, because of his burial at St. Margaret's in 1556. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking around about there. And don't worry, I have lots more Tudor history events for you, so it is worth subscribing. And you can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live. And of course, give me a like and a comment if you want. Thank you, see you tomorrow, bye bye.